some skinny give you a short list of reasons why you should not believe a single word Alex Jones, David Icke, or any of those other major conspiracy buffs say or do. And it has nothing to do with the fact of whether or not they have factual evidence. It has to do with the fact that they are lying murderers, scums, and moderators. And the fact is, they will ban you, they will censor you, they will slander you, they will attack you, and if given the opportunity, they probably stab you. So, here's just a small, short list of reasons why you should not believe anything they say. Number one, Alex Jones believes in harp. Now, is there harp? I don't know. Evidence suggests there might be. There is no reason to believe that scientifically it would not be possible to create something like harp. A weather machine? Seems plausible. But, if you're willing to admit that the government is harboring these secret weather machines to control weather patterns that purposely cause disasters, why is it so difficult to believe in global warming? So basically, the government can create a machine to control the weather, but after decades of global warming from fossil fuels, nuclear energy, etc., that could not naturally dissipate the ozone layer and other factors that contribute to the natural cycle, thus causing catastrophic events. Hmm, maybe you should start to question Alex Jones. Now, number two for David Icke. David Icke believes that there is a secret evil satanic coven made up of reptilian overlords that are not from this planet or at least of a different subspecies than the human genome. Why is that so, why is that believable? But the fact is that maybe it is not a single organized body that is the Illuminati, but that there is a multitude of different people that are selfish, sadistic, and have no care whatsoever for the human life, and they just happen to be in positions of power because of the fact they have no morals. They're willing to lie, cheat, steal, and murder to get what they want. That's it. It's not the fact that it's some organized mafia syndicate, though there is organized mafia syndicates. It's the fact that there are a lot of sociopaths. And typically, because sociopaths don't have things like shame or regret or inhibitions, they get into positions of power. Not necessarily governmental power, just power in general. And that there are many businesses and many national governments and many individual people every day that all contribute to undermining humanity because they don't give a fuck. So, you're willing to accept reptilian overlords all, you know, coming together in a dark secret room, rubbing their hands together, plotting your destruction, but you're just not willing to admit that there is a large portion of society that is major dickheads, and if we want to make things better, we have to think of ways to eliminate the dickheads either through laws, or through organizing, or through just, in our everyday lives, practice uh, things that can reduce their impact on the world. Hmm, maybe you should stop believing what David Icke said. You know, he's going to accuse you of being said reptilian, even though he has no proof, even though if you were a reptilian and had these connections, David Icke would probably be dead for even daring to fuck with you. So, uh, on to number three. The fact is, they think everything is a conspiracy. That there is, uh, you know, subliminal messages on the TV. That the radio waves, uh, you know, conduct electricity in your brain that causes you to grow stagnant and just zombified. And things like that. Everything around us is meant to control us. But they refuse to accept basic biology. That maybe when you introduce this to society, easy food, easy sex, easy stimulation, that's where the mind control comes in. It's not some pseudo-scientific mumbo-jumbo. It's the fact that deep down, people want to fuck, people want to eat, and people want to feel comfortable. Even if they are not, in actuality, comfortable. People are under this illusion that their lives are good, even though it could be taken away from them tomorrow. The fact is, they are still primitive. They don't think about tomorrow. They think about today. Today, they have iPhones. Today, they have food to eat. Today, they have pornography. Today, they feel secure. That is enough for the elite to control the population. Because the population does not want to think there's a problem. Because 
they have nice things at the moment. So why would we need hypnosis machines and propaganda and fluoride in the water and shit to control the people when if you give somebody a hand job and some baked turkey, I guarantee to you they will be a lot more susceptible to whatever you have to say or whatever you're going to do. So that's another reason not to trust either David Icke or Alex Jones. Uh, you know, I can list more reasons, but I, I think that pretty much covers it. When you get right down to it, that's all they ever talk about. The Illuminati this, the brainwashing machines that, the weather machines there so. And it's bullshit. The fact is, you don't need any of those things. You see people every day. You see how stupid and evil they are. You don't have to con concoct some massive conspiracy to get people to act stupider, and more devilish. The fact is, they are naturally that way. So, where's the problem? What, you think a uh, hundred years ago, people were magically better? That people were magically just more loving and more caring of their fellow man and, and just wanted what was best for everybody? No, they were fucking bigoted, barbaric scumbags. They would hang you on a rope for having the wrong skin color. People were never good in the first place. Maybe because of culture and technological advancements and things like that, the evil changes a little bit. Subtly, uh, you know, people grow a little bit more complex, more intricate in their evil. But down to their core, they're just evil and they're just stupid. And the sociopaths know how to take advantage of that, more specifically, moderators. So, this is why David Icke and Alex Jones are full of shit. And if you were to ever see them in the street, you should spit right in their eye. Or more so in their throat if you can, if you have really good aim, because that's what I would do. So, I guess that's it. Just, I wanted to say David Icke and Alex Jones are a piece of shit. And I hope you carry this video along to whatever website you go to. And hopefully it gets back to David Icke and Alex Jones that Jim Prophet thinks they're a douchebag. And if I ever see them, I will spit right in their throat. That's it.